congratulations into your first William Hill World Championship semi-final. I can see by the look on your face you're over the moon with that. Yeah, I thought I, I was pretty steady in that game and Glenn, I thought early on, played really, really well and I, I just took my chances, especially the first set that I held my own throw and then put him under pressure on his and yeah, he wasn't obviously at his A game, neither was I, but I think I'd done the right things at the right time and took my chances. All the talk coming into the tournament was the fact that you'd never really played ballet, it never really happened. Is that now nice to have that monkey off your back? Yeah, but every game's different. You know, the first game I was rubbish, then I was brilliant, then I was rubbish, then I played all right today. So hopefully that pattern doesn't happen tomorrow when I start playing rubbish again. But yeah, I'm playing Peter Wright tomorrow, and I, the last time I played him, I played probably the best I played on TV ever. So hopefully I can bring that game again. Speaking of Peter Wright, just comments after his win today fire you up a little bit as well when he said he thought Glenn was going to beat you. Yeah, but he, he came and spoke to me and. He was like, oh, I just want to wind Glenn. I was like, whatever. <laughs> but now, nah, I, I, me and Peter get on really, really well. I think he wanted that result, but it was never going to happen. Is that because he's scared to play you after what happened last time? I think so. But no, nah, obviously I'm probably one of, me and Michael, the, the, the informed players of the last six months. And I, obviously by the way I played against Peter in the Grand Slam, I don't think he wants to play me, but... Yeah, hopefully I can bring that game again tomorrow and just smash him off the board, but it doesn't always work like that. As players, do you remember past games, or certainly recent ones, against players that you're up and playing recently? Yeah, but even when I first started, I was playing Peter and I was narrowly losing. I was losing by a leg or two legs. I played him the first year I ever played in the Worlds. I lost 3-0 to him, but it was I had chances in every single set to take a set off him. And then I think my first ever pro tour that I won, I beat Peter Wright in the final. I lost to him in the UK Open final. I played him numerous times, but now the tide's turning and, and I'm starting to be more victorious than he is. Because you haven't been to a World Championship semi-final before and everyone else has, is that easy for you? Because you're not thinking about what went wrong before, perhaps? No, I never ever think about games there. I just bring everything about every game as it comes, or if it's a final, if it's a semi, or if it's a first round. I just want to go up there and win and perform the best I can. And yeah, I'm not bothered that it's a semi-final tomorrow. If it was a final, I wouldn't be bothered. I just want to go up and win. It's an absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks. Do you think what happened to the Grand Slam could play on his mind? I mean, obviously, you've got that winning record. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's going to play on his mind more than mine, but like I said, every game is different. It, does, it doesn't always uh, doesn't mean I'm going to go on average 110 tomorrow. It does, I could, hopefully, I do, but it doesn't always mean that. But yeah, it's confidence for me that I know that Peter didn't play. He played all right, I think, in the, in the Grand Slam against me, but he's changed his darts again, and I think he's rubbish with these ones. <laughs> Is that you trying to get into his head now? But nah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that earlier anyway, so you want to change your darts, you rubbish for them, won't <laughs> you? were steady tonight, Kevin. You, 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 there weren't sort of wild oscillations between absolutely brilliant and rubbish. You actually stayed in pretty narrow parameters tonight. That must have pleased you. Cause, cause yeah, I, I, had, I had a few loose starts and put myself under pressure, but sometimes you need that little bit of pressure to, to spur you on. And after the, after the first two sets, I could see Glenn was sweating and I could see him when we went backstage he was puffing and panting and I felt pretty cool and yeah, sometimes that helps and I, I knew he was feeling the heat more than I was. Well, we asked you in Wolverhampton being a fit lad with your rugby background might play a part if you got to the latter stages of the tournament. Did you feel that tonight? Um, I don't know. I, I don't think this. Yeah, but I don't think this was a, a long, a long race. I mean, they're just short little spurts. If, if you play in the, the, the best, uh, best of 21 or best of 31, that then they'll probably then it, then it'll probably come in, come into my own. But yeah, I don't think this was uh, a long format. You're relatively inexperienced still at this level. Do you think this year? You've grown up in the sport. Do you think that, what, I've just been become more experienced. I think I've got to a lot of a lot of finals, a lot of semi-finals and quarter-finals, and getting into major finals and a lot of stages of tournaments. You're playing the best players, and yeah, I'm just I'm enjoying my darts. Uh, I never thought in a million years I'd be doing what I'm doing, and, and I'm grateful for it. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I, Six, seven years ago, I'm still playing rugby, and now I'm up to maybe number two in the world. Like, it's crazy. It just feels like you're seizing the opportunity now. You're not losing. Finals. Peter's lost a lot of finals, but you're not. You're getting to finals and you're winning that trophy. Yeah, I think once once I get to quarterfinals, mm -hmm. then I just feel like I'm going to win the tournament. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to get to the quarterfinals, but once I get it, 
I'm just more confident than ever that I'm going to win them. I got the three majors, I think, this year. I obviously lost two of them, but won one of them. But like I said, it's, it's hard to get to the latter stages of tournaments, but when I get to the last eight, then it just fills me full of confidence. You said yesterday that you thought Simon was slowing you down on purpose. Do you think Peter might try something like that tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, I, maybe, maybe not. But I'm just trying to go out and concentrate on my own game. It doesn't really matter what Peter does. So I'm the one throwing the darts. And when I get to the hockey, hopefully I can just control myself and do the best I can. Is that the kind of thing that, because you are kind of a Peter, you wouldn't expect from him? No, I would expect him more. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I, Peter's a good bloke, and I don't. I don't think he would try that. He'll do what he can to play his best. I don't think he'll do it on purpose to put me off, but if he needs to slow his game down to, to imp improve his game, then he might do it, but I don't think he'll do it to put me off. Did you watch his game earlier? Because he was playing very well. No, I've I seen little bits of it, but no, I didn't see all of it. Okay,